Hi, welcome to my channel, Organized with Joy. I'm Joy and I want to inspire you to get organized. And in today's video, I'm going to be cleaning out our refrigerator and our freezer. They're not in too bad of shape, but I do like to go in and reorganize things and clean out all these bins. And I'm also going to be cleaning our oven, which I have not done in a very long time. So you'll definitely want to stick around to see that. And here I'm just showing you some before shots of what our freezer and refrigerator looked like before. And in a minute, I'll be showing you what our ovens looked like. We actually have double ovens, so I got both of those cleaned in this video. Money don't come easy, so most of us are chained to being busy, so we can earn a little peace of my mind. What does it mean to be free, to be free in this American dream? Oh. The first thing I'm going to do is preheat the ovens to 200 degrees, which is what the instructions on the product that I'll be using required. While the ovens are preheating, I'm going to go ahead and work on the refrigerator and freezer. And as you'll see, I just take these bins out and having these bins makes it super easy to clean my refrigerator um, just because you can take so much out at once. And I'm just using a Grove Collaborative all-purpose cleaning spray product to clean out our refrigerator here. And this is just going to be a quick clean, not a deep clean. Um, but the Grove Collaborative is a website that I use to order all of my cleaning products from and I can go ahead and link that in the description box if you're interested in checking them out. They do have a five piece gift set that they give to you for free if you are new to signing up for their service. And y'all, earlier in the week, I was working on a painting project and I always do this trick where I use a Ziploc bag and put the paintbrush or paint roller in there in the refrigerator to keep it until I'm finished. And obviously I did not clean up or take care of that paint roller when I was done with that project. So I'm gonna have to take care of that today as well. And here to clean out these bins, I am just using a Mrs. Meyers dish soap and some um, warm water to go ahead and rinse those out really thoroughly and then I'll dry them off so that I can replace all the food immediately. When we get distracted, all the people left and it's easy to be happy. No blames to be given in this automatic system when the music keeps on blasting. I really love these plastic bins to keep everything organized in my refrigerator and my freezer. They were fairly reasonably priced as well. I got them off of Amazon and I can go ahead and link those for you in the description box below if you're interested in checking those out. This all-purpose cleaning spray that I'm using is essential oil based, so it is safe around foods. And I do just like to use um, all-purpose cleaning spray when I'm doing kind of a quick clean of the refrigerator. If I'm gonna be doing a deep clean, I'll take out all of the shelving and um, give it a good clean, um, soaking it in the bathtub. But on this particular day, I was just doing a quick clean. I've got it under control. I've got my hands on the wheel I'm pushing over the line I don't care how it'll feel I'm looking fear in the eyes I will my heart to believe Whatever way that it comes Won't get the better of me I've got it under control
Y'all, I find it so challenging to record myself cleaning out our refrigerator and freezer because the um, cabinets that are adjacent to it are only like, I don't know, two or three feet from the refrigerator. So it's very difficult to get good angles, but I did try my best to get interesting angles for you. After I was done with all the bins and drawers inside of the refrigerator, I worked on the bins on our refrigerator door and I'm just again going to use some dish soap with some warm water and I am continuing to go through things and get rid of items that are expired or we no longer use. Seeing castles in June, no clouds overhead and nothing to block the view. Seeing castles in June, seeing castles in June, no time but right now and no one I always love getting to know you all, so I would love for you to share in the comments, what is your favorite food? My favorite food, honestly, I really love kale. I know that that sounds a little bit crazy, but I do love it in all forms. I love kale salad, and I also like... Um, sauteed kale but lest you think I am truly crazy I will also say that I love tacos I don't know if that's just living in Austin and it's living in Texas that has caused me to like tacos so much but that would probably be my other favorite food so let me know what your favorite food is there's nowhere to hurry to sing castles in June sing castles in June no clouds overhead and nothing to block the view. Seeing castles in June, seeing castles in June. No time but right now and no one but me and you. And here I just wanted to show you everything I was getting rid of. Either it was expired or we just didn't use it anymore. And even though our refrigerator wasn't really messy, there was still a lot that I could get rid of. And next, I was going to work on the freezer, so I just removed all these bins so that I could quickly clean them out so I could be sure to get the frozen foods back in the freezer ASAP. Castles in June, seeing castles in June. No time but right now, and no one but me and you.
I didn't show the whole process of cleaning out this freezer. It was just, like I mentioned before, very difficult to get good camera angles, but I did leave this clip in here where I'm trying to put the drawer back in. And if our, free, our refrigerator freezer is pushed back too far, the door won't open up far enough to get that drawer fully in and out. You can pull it out just to get something out of there, but to take it out of the freezer entirely, um, you have to move the freezer. So that's what I was doing there. Next, I started working on my ovens, and as you can see there, I was just turning off the preheat setting with this product. It's called Easy Off. You just preheat the oven to 200 degrees and then turn it off and spray it um, liberally on your oven, and then you just let it set for three minutes. Um, but here, you'll see me in the next scene. I'm putting gloves on because um, this product definitely has chemicals in it. The spray back was landing on my skin and it was stinging. So that's why I have gloves on in that scene. This is actually kind of embarrassing to show you this. I have cleaned my ovens before, but in the past I have just used the clean mode setting on the ovens and it basically just heats the oven as hot as it'll go for a few hours and it burns everything off and then you just kind of wipe everything up at the end but this product really gets the grease off and so obviously my ovens were in desperate need of that here This process was definitely kind of challenging. Um, I felt like I should have been wearing workout clothes and had my hair up in a ponytail or something. I didn't realize that it was gonna be um, so vigorous cleaning these um, ovens out. There was a lot of grease, as you can see, and so it just took several times going over it with this sponge, and then you'll see me, um, I also go over it with some all-purpose cleaning spray as well. I don't typically like to use products that are chemical based. Um, I prefer products that are all natural or essential oil based. But in this case, um, I will have to say I do recommend this product Easy Off. It definitely um, easily cleaned all the grease out of our oven. And so given that I probably will only do this once, maybe twice a year, I would say um, it's definitely worth using this product. Couldn't imagine life would ever separate us or the
I didn't share the complete process of cleaning out the bottom oven in part because um, the light was broken it needs to be replaced but also um, since you saw the process with the top oven that was probably sufficient but I did insert this clip where I was cleaning the door off as I thought it was really satisfying. And of course, I wanted to show you some after shots of what everything looked like after I was done cleaning the space. Got a good ear, come give it a bend. I can listen all day till you tell it to me. If I heard it before, then let me hear it again. While you let it out, I can take it in. When you got something to say, you can tell it to me. Say what you wanna. And here with the oven, I just had to show you these before clips again just to remind you how terribly dirty these ovens were. The after shot is definitely extremely satisfying. Well, thank you for watching my video today. I hope that it gave you some motivation to clean a space in your home today. And if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to consider subscribing and be sure to hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any future content that I post. Thanks again and have a great day. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oh,